Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well. I want to give you a small exercise that you can practice every day to improve your inner musical ear. And doesn't matter which style you're playing, um, that exercise will benefit your piano practicing, that's for sure. So, we are going to manipulate with two chords, F, A, C, E, and A, C sharp, E, G sharp. And we're going to make uh, a few steps with these two chords. So the first one is imagining every pitch of these chords in sound texture with movement. Now let me explain what it is. What I mean by saying pitch is some sort of sound that would be in your head, not necessarily in the color of a certain instrument, but it's mostly like a light voice color, if I try to describe it to you, but something you would hear in your mind right before you want to whistle something or uh, sing out loud something. So this is our pitch. Now, sound texture is how we imagine the pitch in the texture of water. Let's say we play the chord without pedal. It sounds quite dry. If we play with pedal, the space is expanding and you can hear all the vibrations of the sound that are flowing in the air. So, this is what I mean by watering the sound. And uh, we can try also to make a little bit of three-dimensional sound, uh, just imagining that we are going with the sound through the texture of water a little bit down, without heaviness, without resistance, and the movement um, is how we can feel um, the vibrations of sounds that are directed to the right or to the left. It's very easy to feel through singing, You can try once, then you will feel it right away. So, one more time, I'm going to imagine F, the pitch of F, and this sound texture, the texture of water, going down and move, let's say, to the right. And then we play, we can also move our wrist to the right because um, everything that we imagine affects our playing. Likewise, everything we play. The way we play affects our imagination. So, if we imagine, if we move our wrist to the right, it will be easy for us to imagine a uh, sound with movement to the right. Now we're going to make the same routine with every note in the chord. I'm going to take A, take the pitch, water sound, down, movement. C, take the pitch, water, down, movement. Next step would be trying to imagine all the notes all together. And this is what you need to do. Imagine them first sequentially. And as you can see, I'm not trying to hold in my imagination the notes that I've already imagined and adding like new layers of notes. I'm letting go. Just imagine them completely sequentially. Now I'm going to reduce time. when every note we can hear all together very clearly on the same level. Next we're going to make the stay with the next chord, A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Imagine every note and then imagine them sequentially reducing time. And so we got two beautiful chords. We're able to imagine every note in sound texture with movement. The next step um, would be adding light and color of harmony. And it's completely different from what we just done, because in the first exercise we were focusing on clearly hearing and imagining every single note in the chord. Now, when we listen to the chord, we need to focus on the general color and light of the harmony, not on single notes in the chord. <clears throat> That will help us develop our harmonic ear. The previous one for developing, well, absolute pitch. <laughs> so, this is what we need to do. We play the chord on the pedal, listen, and play next. 
person. Listen. Now ask yourself some questions. Which chord sounds, um, let's say, lighter? second one sounds lighter. Now, which one sounds more tense and which one sounds more open? Well, it could be different for every person. Um, it could be this one could be a little bit calmer. And this one could be a little bit more tense. Or that could be more tense because it's darker. So these kind of definitions you need to find for yourself while listening every harmony. What we need to do now is we're kind of coming back to the previous exercise, but we not only imagine every pitch in sound texture, but also in sound texture and harmony. So this is what we do. We take again the pitch, remind yourself the pitch, you press the chord, and while the sound is in the air, which will help you to actually imagine harmony better, I'm gonna imagine this pitch in the water in this light and um, color harmony with movement to the right. And we do the same with A. Again, we take the chord, remind yourself the pitch. Pitch, sound texture, harmony, movement. C. Sound texture, harmony, movement, and E. And then again, we're gonna try to grab the whole chord together. In our imagination, we're going sequentially. Faster, 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 faster. Then make the same routine with the next chord. Well, let's see what else we can do. We can apply a little bit of filter of dynamics. And when we're going to apply dynamics, especially when we need to imagine, let's say, in piano, please use this picture as you would have some drawing on your computer and you have this button that allow you to choose the transparency of the picture from 0 to 100%. Let's say you want to make piano. You would probably choose transparency about 80%. Or even 90 <laughs> if it's like pianissimo so this is what you do you take the pitch imagine it in sound texture in the harmony hopefully you don't have to play harmony anymore because you already know it and then you just gonna adjust the, the level of transparency imagine very translucent this F what I'm saying is that you don't try to imagine it smaller when you want to imagine it uh, piano but you Keep the same size of the picture, but make it very, very translucent. Almost like a ghost. <laughs> and then play. And do the same with A. Imagine A, sound texture, harmony, in piano with movement. Then C and E. And again, <laughs> just like in the very first exercise, we're going to um, try to imagine all notes together. So do the same with, again, in your imagination, you don't have to play. You imagine sequentially reducing time more, 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 more. And again, you can make the same with the second chord. Now, let's go up. Let's imagine that we are going to use the filter of four them. Take the pitch, imagine sound texture, harmony, and now when you want to imagine it forte, of course you need to imagine it as loud as possible, let's say fortissima, but always make sure that the sound is not hurting your ears, like it's not like you're hearing it in your earphones very close to you, but let's say you hear it in a huge space. So we need to still maintain the fullness and softness of forte. Again, pitch, um, sound texture, harmony, and let's make it huge and great. And then movement. So that could be our forte. You can do the same as every note and play sequentially in your mind and then together. And um, 
also we could voice something <laughs> so again we can make the same layers i feel like i'm, I'm, I'm making um, a cooking video all the layers of the cake here okay so we are about to put some um, cherry on the top right now so let's voice something again we imagine the whole chord hopefully we can do it already in the uh, sound texture harmony um, let's say piano with movement and now let's take top note E and imagine it closer to us again when we imagine closer just imagine that it's very near to us so we are located quite close to this E when we imagine it and try to make it harder let's say we C imagine the whole chord in sound texture harmony dynamics C is closer now A intonation let's say we take top notes of every chord E and G sharp now we're gonna sing them with glissando adding a little bit of resistance like we would move our hand in the water so the same way we should sing while playing um, two notes or even more so let's say i'm playing this chord and i'm going to sing out loud just to show you what i'm doing internally harmony, dynamics, voicing, intonation. Just make these five steps every day with exercise and your piano playing and the way you hear yourself while practicing will be definitely improved. <laughs> uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.